going to explain what H index is. So H index is a um, a measure of an academic's um, research ability by 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 looking at an analogy um, with YouTube subscribers. So this is just an analogy that I'm constructing in order to discuss how to calculate H index. So what is H index? Well, H index, like I say, is a measure of a, a scientist's research ability, and it doesn't take into account just how many papers as an academic has published, but also the number of citations per each paper. And you kind of think, well, a, a paper that's got more citations is more widely discussed in the community and is probably more valuable. Um, so it takes into both, both things into account, and it gives a measure of how active the, the researcher is. So I'm going to calculate um, an S index, which which is which is a, a sort of analogy with um, YouTube subscribers that that is is calculated in exactly the same way as you would calculate H index, except instead of publications, I've I'm, I've got subscribers, and instead of citations, I've got their subscribers because perhaps it's perhaps one would think it's more impressive to have um, someone with a bigger subscriber base subscribe to you, for example. Um, so, using this analogy, I'm going to calculate an S-index, so to speak, and you can do exactly the same method to calculate um, a, a researcher's H-index. So, the first thing to do is, is order um, by the, the number of, of, of subscribers, which I've done, and then you have to start counting, and um, by position, so 1, 2, 3, and so on. And what I'm looking for is when the position is roughly equal to the, the number of subscribers here, so I'm going to keep on counting 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight, seven, fifty-eight, I'm getting close, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, okay, sixty-six, sixty, Okay, six, 65, 66, so you see that now this the position is actually greater than the number of subscribers. So I want to, I don't want the position to be greater, I want it to be less than or equal to. So we stop at 65. And this means that I have a subscriber index of 65. And it would also mean that if, if these were not um, subscriptions but were in fact publications and this column wasn't um, their subscribers, but it was in fact citations, that someone with this record would have an H index of 65, which is actually a really, really impressive um, H index. Um, in terms of S index, this is a pretty unimpressive S index. I mean, I can only imagine how uh, much of a chore this would be um, it, it, to, 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 to count through these if it was if I had a large subscriber base although of course you wouldn't you wouldn't count through you'd, you'd probably import them into a spreadsheet of some description um, so, okay so I have an s index of 65 on on um, on this and I think I I, I want to I this want to this the supernatural um, side salad channel my, my, my second channel and um, I'm going to do the same calculation, and you'll see that this journal is, of course, immediately it's apparent that this channel is less popular, so of course the S index is going to be lower. And one thing to note is that it's impossible, of course, for the S index to be greater than the number of subscribers that I have. So I know immediately that the S index is going to be um, less than 17. Um, but what is it? Let's, let's, let's have a look. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, and and then of course um, seven is greater than five. So my S index on my second channel is is only six, um, compared to the S index on my primary channel, which is sixty five. So uh, I I hope you can see sort of um, it gives a, it gives a quick measure of not only um, how many subscribers I have, but also um, um, how, how sort of how 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 big people uh, how how um, bigger YouTube channels are subscribing to me. So if I if I had lots of small YouTube channels subscribing to me, then the, the S index would be a little bit lower. Um, anyway, um, this 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 is gives gives an idea about how to calculate the S index, which is exactly the same way that you'd calculate the H index. Um, so I hope I hope people found this this video interesting um, and the analogy rather cute. Um, and thanks everyone for watching.